Hey guys, welcome to Crystal Stories. This is Hajish. And in this week's video, we're going to talk about different type of cameras and what are all the pros and cons of each type of cameras and who is marketed it. So that's what we're going to look at it because a lot of people think that uh, their start to photography journey should start with the DSLR and a lot of people ask me, okay, should I buy a DSLR straight away, right? And uh, it's understandable because somebody who is interested in photography or photography as a hobby buys a mobile phone like for 15,000 rupees to 20,000 rupees. So the entry level DSLR starts at 30,000 rupees. So the, I understand the bet, but again, by investing in a DSLR straight away, there are compromises, the long term compromises they are making, which they are not aware of it. So that's, that's the point of this video is to discuss what's the different type of cameras that's available and also where should you start with based on the budget and also requirement so that you don't make a wrong investment into DSLRs or the cameras and now coming to DSLR world uh, there is again now there is a mirrorless world catching up on and a lot of people ask me also what is this mirrorless and should I go for it uh, depends unless you are a professional uh, unless you are a person who you don't think that you will invest on lenses in the future yeah mirrorless may be an option uh, but for a regular user if you're just learning photography or if you want to invest try out things um, in the near future um, mirrorless will be a costly business I, I, I will let's explain why that is as well um, so the mirrorless is a new system. So there is like Sony is the leader in terms of the quality or the lenses available and everything and Canon on the second and there is Nikon and other brands. So in this one, if you are a starting photography, if you are a beginner or if you are just as a hobbyist, not making money out of mirrorless, sorry, money out of your photography business, go for DSLR because DSLRs, there are a lot of third-party lenses which you can get at a lower cost and the investment won't be heavy compared to what you will invest on mirrorless. So you can go for a DSLR entry-level body as low as 25,000 to 30,000 rupees and then you can buy a really good lens like for 50,000 rupees, let's say. And that would still be 80,000 rupees and you can still capture really great images but in mirrorless the entry level of camera itself is around 60,000 rupees and any lens that you buy for mirrorless will cost you double than the body and unfortunately because the brands are just launching their uh, lenses there are not many options you're left with and yes uh, when you watch youtube videos and when you read blogs, a lot of people talk about the, this is the particular model you should go for, this is the brand that you should go for. It makes complete sense when you look at from a professional perspective. Someone who shoots continuously, who makes money out of it, those points make really good sense. But as a beginner, as someone who investing on every penny or the every savings that you have uh, for a hobby, you have to be a little wise about it and in that case is what I would suggest is the invest in a DSLR at this point of time yes mirrorless is going to be the next part next future but it's going to take some time it's not going to be overnight it's going to take at least next few years to completely transition into mirrorless world yes uh, right now Sony is completely on mirrorless Canon probably launch few more models and then hit mirrorless uh, right now, right now itself, Canon is com focusing mostly on the mirrorless. Even Nikon started moving towards uh, mirrorless, but still Nikon still launches DSLRs. And again, DSLRs have a lenses that have been built over the decades. So even if you buy a uh, DSLR right now, and you can still get really good lenses, and because people moving to DS uh, uh, mirrorless lot of people selling their DSLR gears online 
So if you are just a beginner, you can get a second hand lenses and body which will be useful for next one or two years for you. And after that, if you, when you based on where you are in your photography phase, you can upgrade it to mirrorless. At the learning phase, don't worry too much about should I go for mirrorless. It's unnecessary. Just don't invest that much money and then realize it. Oh, hey, I bought it for two lakhs or three lakhs rupees, but never traveled. It's gonna be a waste investment. And in camera world, as I said earlier, the depreciation is very very high. A camera that's worth one lakh today, six months or one year later. It won't even be 60,000, 70,000 worth. So, when you invest on high gears, just be careful about it. Just go for uh, DSLRs at all, second hand DSLRs, and probably uh, upgrade it when you start making money out of it. That would be a wise option. Uh, next, the mirrorless world. Mirrorless, uh, yes, as I mentioned earlier, if you're a professional, and if you are setting up business on photography it will be really good bet because mirrorless has a lot of good features or in terms of the focusing system in terms of the color rendition and in terms of the color reproduction it has a really good options as well as the lenses uh, that's built for mirrorless also are really great really fast and uh, let in a lot of light which allows cameras to capture really great images compared to DSLR S it's one step ahead uh, so yes if you're a professional you can think of investing in mirrorless but if you are not a professional if you're just using for your hobby or if you're just starting your photography journey invest in DSLR at this moment of time one year later or one and a half years later upgrade it to mirrorless world based on how much money you have and what phase for photography you are in.